you know, two thirds of women under 30 want to be senior leaders. They want to advance. So this isn't about ambition, but it is about women really signaling. They want to work for an organization where they feel that they're going to be able to um, advance and they have equal opportunity and they want to work for organizations that value the things they do. Flexibility, well-being and diversity, equity and inclusion. Well, I think it's good news that we see an incredible level of positive ambition among women of color. And we see that for black women specifically. We also see that for Asian women and Latina women. So the good news is that women of color are incredibly positively ambitious. They want to be leaders in their organization. One might posit that perhaps one of the reasons they want to be leaders in their organization is to actually be a decision maker so that that environment reflects the type of environment that they would like to work in. So certainly if you're experiencing fewer microaggressions and you're feeling more psychological safety working outside of the workplace, that helps fight burnout, right? Um, and then certainly if you're at home more where you have more flexibility and you can get creative about how you're fitting work into life, you know, that helps with burnout as well. So there's no panacea, you know, there's no easy fix, but certainly embracing flexibility and allowing all employees of all genders to kind of figure out how to fit, fit work into life and then have, you know, a better day-to-day -day work experience. Those are the things you could do that will address burnout. Individual women that we've interviewed have said, you know, I feel, I feel like I am more a member <clears throat> of this virtual table than I was before. Um, or women who just feel incredibly empowered to say, I can choose how I work. So I would like to be in the office two days a week. I'd like to be really intentional about when I'm together with my team, how I'm learning. But gosh, that flexibility on the other days is just making it in so much easier. One of the things you guys brought up in the beginning of this conversation was um, about expecting women to sort of support the DNI initiatives, but then not being compensated for it. And I always, I always say, you know, it's great through all the things that have happened the last few years, we've externally faced, facing, we've put a lot of money towards causes. Um, but I think part of it is also making sure that you're giving your giving budgets to your ERG groups and giving budgets to the people who are championing them and giving them bonuses for producing that. Because I think outcomes happen if they're, if they're backed by not just the leadership, but also the, the financial part of it.